All right, everyone. Welcome to Tomahawk DIY. We're going to take a look today at a new computer and removing bloatware or some of that unwanted software that shows up uh, from computer computer manufacturers. Uh, this is a Dell Inspiron 14Z, also known as the N411Z laptop computer. So let's get started. Come down to the Start menu and if you head over to control panel once that gets opened we will go to programs uninstall program so let's take a look at uninstalling a program and once this loads up and populates we'll walk through the list of what we have and figure out where to go from here Okay, let's continue down, take a look down the list of what we have. Accelerometer, that has to do with uh, preserving your hard drive if the computer is dropped, so we won't mess with that. Accidental damage services from Dell, uh, we can leave that. Active presenter, that happens to be what I'm recording this program with, we'll leave it. Adobe, um, I tend to trust Adobe programs generally. The Photoshop and Premiere elements were specially installed with the purchase of this new computer. Um, advanced Audio FX Engine, something to do with our speakers, so we can leave that. Bank Tech Service Agreement, a little, reluct uh, a, a little skeptical about changing that, but uh, we can, we'll leave it for now. Blio, uh, that's an e-reader software, that's very much an optional one. Um, that you could leave or could remove. Um, I, I will be removing it. Complete care business service agreement from Dell. Again, something from Dell. Probably leave that. Smart Audio HD. I think that's related to our speakers and sound. Another Dell service agreement. Boy, they've got a lot of those. Um, let's keep coming down this list. Cozy. That's some software that is very much optional. You could easily remove that. It has to do with uh, organization software for a whole family. I believe you can download it for free in any case. Dell DataSafe Local Backup uh, has to do with backing up software. I believe that's another one that's very optional. Um, could consider removing that. I think it also will back it up to a hard drive um, out on the internet or to storage, I should say, on the internet. Alright, let's scroll down here. We just talked about the data safe. But I've got a lot of different things on related to data safe. The Dell Digital Delivery, that has to do with software coming from Dell. I uh, could probably delete that. I, I'm going to check. I think I'll be getting rid of it on mine. Dell Getting Started Guide, it's optional, something that starts with the new computer. Dell Music uh, Home Services Agreement, another one of those, I'll leave that. I'm not quite sure um, what that does, but I don't think it takes up, deals with the messes with a whole lot by having it on. These stage prod products from Dell, Music Stage, Photo Stage, you can see Video Stage down here as well. Um, those can all be removed, they're very optional software. Um, for managing uh, media and viewing, listening to things, etc. I'll be getting rid of those. Dell Support Center, probably leave that. Dell Touchpad, that keeps the mouse or the, the touchpad operational. Webcam, assuming you want a webcam, you want to keep it. eBay, I don't know why we need uh, anything installed from eBay on a new computer, so I'll get rid of that. Google Chrome, my personal browser of choice. Uh, so I'll be leaving that. Wireless software from Intel. Oh, one's Bluetooth, one's Wi-Fi. We'll leave that. Um, Turbo Boost Monitor. That's something that's optional with uh, these core Duo processors. Could remove that. Uh, it, the, that's really just a monitoring software that lets you see what's going on with the the uh, processor. So. You're welcome to leave it, welcome to remove it. The YDI or WeD, I'm not quite sure how to sell it, say it. Uh, that's from Intel. I'm going to remove that. It's 
uh, optional, but basically it can you can buy an adapter for uh, a television and then turn your TV into a big computer screen and send the information wirelessly to that computer screen. Great for watching movies, but if you want to buy that adapter, you do and you can get the software at that point. Intel Control Center, probably leave that. Graphics, leave that. A management Engine Components, we'll leave that. Java, leave that. McAfee, it's up to you to choose to keep or, or get rid of that. I tend to go for lower cost items, so uh, McAfee will charge you. This computer happened to come with a three-year subscription, so I'll probably leave it for a while to try it out. But there's a number of free antivirus software that uh, you can put on your computer as well. Microsoft.net, we'll leave those. Microsoft Office 2010. Um, this is a starter edition that came with the computer. I'd be getting rid of it. Um, it's advertisement based. Certainly welcome to cheap keep it. I think I'll actually be upgrading to a full version um, to put on this computer. Silverlight, I uh, use that. That gets into some website stuff. All right, we see all sorts of Microsoft uh, C++. We'll be leaving all those items. I think it has to do with processor and who knows what else. Uh, MX, MS, XML, be leaving those. Looks like some service pack updates from Microsoft. Nero AG, that's one that can be removed, uh, certainly. It's uh, only if you want to keep Nero but uh, it's not something I plan on keeping. Playtime PC run play ready. Hmm. Not quite sure what that is. Service agreements again. Quick set Roxio creator starter. Uh, that's an optional one. If you want to burn CDs and things, I believe there's other software out there that's free or uh, Windows I think can actually manage burning CDs on its own these days with Windows 7. Skype 5.5. If you want to keep Skype, you can keep it. Uh, you can download those soft that software for free. Uh, the Smart Track that has something or Smart Sound that has to do with Premiere Elements, so I'll be leaving that. Sync up with Nero. This is software that uh, is optional. I plan to get rid of it on mine. It has to do with syncing software or, or syncing files, I should say, media and things between multiple devices. Trusted ID, that's a banking software that's free and downloadable. I plan to get rid of it. Wild Tangent Games, I'm going to be removing that. Isn't necessary. And uh, Windows Live, I'll be leaving those. Xeno Reader, that's a magazine reader you can buy magazines on. I'll uh, get rid of that on mine. You can always download it later if you want. So when you find something, now to show you how to actually uninstall something, you just follow the directions right up here. You select it from the list, click on Install, Change, or Repair. So I double clicked on that. So that's preparing to remove, but you can read for yourself. So we'll wait a little bit. Okay, there it goes. All right, and you see it's disappeared. So in a nutshell, that's how you uninstall uh, programs. Uh, good thing to do at the beginning when you start with new computer, kind of set it up. Also check out my other uh, 
DIY videos will have will have how to partition a hard drive and probably also something related to maybe the crap cleaner software to help in this process.